So in the last video I just put out this past Thursday, where I was talking about how many suits should one have, I realized while I was editing the video that my tie was crooked. One question that I get posed is how many suits should someone have if they wear a suit five days a week? I thought about re-recording the video, but I'm like, I have 150 videos, man. There's no way somebody's going to look at that video and say, I'm not going to listen to this guy because his tie's always crooked. Because I know what I would do in that situation if I saw that. I would go back and watch other videos to see, is that a thing or that was just a one-time occurrence? So of course nobody's going to judge me for one video, you know what I mean? What up? My name is Vladimir Richet from ChaseAndRider.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about a new shoe brand that has an offer that's pretty hard to resist. So the brand that we're going to talk about today is called Seamless Bespoke. And I mentioned that they're a new brand. They're actually not that new, but their shoe line is new. So Seamless Bespoke, as the name implies, they specialize in bespoke tailoring. They also carry classic menswear accessories along with their shoe line. The shoe line is a pretty recent development and currently there are only five styles of shoes to choose from. Depending on how things go, they would look to expand their offering. Shoe number one is called a CISO. It's a black punch cap toe in a Balmoral design. The second style is the Erskine. It's a punch cap toe Adelaide in dark brown on the almond last. The third style is called the Maxwell. That's a double monk strap in dark brown museum calf, also on the chiseled last. The fourth style is called the Club. That's the penny loafer in burgundy museum calf on the almond last. And then last but not least, they have the Duxton. That's their plain cap to Oxford in gold museum calf on their chiseled last. So I had to make a decision on which shoe I was going to select. I ended up going with the Duxton. And the reason why I went that way is because a few years ago, I did an unboxing of a shoe from Vash. It was the Old English 2 in Gold Museum calf. Unfortunately, those shoes didn't really fit me that well, and I ended up selling them. So ever since I've sold those shoes, I've been looking to replace them. I just never got around to doing so. So when the opportunity came, I saw that the Duxton was a little bit similar as far as the design, and it was the same leather, which is the Gold Museum calf. I couldn't pass it up to keep it 100% transparent. I did not pay for the shoes and Seamless Bespoke has no say in anything that you're going to hear in this video. These are all my thoughts. Seamless Bespoke sourced their regular leathers from Tannery's Danone in France and the museum calf come from the Zunta Tannery in Italy which is renowned for their museum calf. I think that's enough of an introduction. Let's take a look at the shoes. First thing first, the shoes come in a regular charcoal box. What I mean by regular, a lot of times, the brands would have the name on the box, but there's no name to be seen on top of this box. But you do see the name here on the sticker. So right here it says Seamless Bespoke. The style once again is the Duxton. For description it says Gold Museum. The last once again is the Chisel Last. And my size, seven. Let's take a look at the shoes, man. The first thing that you notice when you open the box is that it comes with a really nice shoehorn that says Seamless Bespoke on it. Typically you get a plastic shoehorn, but this is really nice. This is a wooden shoehorn. Pretty nice touch there. It comes with two brown shoe bags, which is always a plus. And these are the shoes right here, man. Once again, these are the Duxton and they are gold museum calf. Museum calf is a type of leather that mixes a couple of different colors. Museum calf gives you that marble effect and this is something that's done at the tannery. Typically, I prefer an almond shape or soft square, but I don't really have many shoes in chisel toes and also this shoe only comes in this last and I'm not disappointed at all. This is really a nice last. Once again, it's just a matter of preference. Some shoes that have chisel toes that I see, I would never wear because they're usually too elongated. This is pretty balanced and really nice. 
It's a closed channel sole, meaning that you can't see the stitching. Now what makes this shoe so great and why should you be paying attention? Couple things. Number one, the shoes are hand welted. Hand welted is a superior method of construction compared to let's say Goodyear welted as it involves a lot more hours since it's done by hand. Typically you can expect to pay over $500 for hand welted shoes. Believe it or not, these shoes only retail for $369. So when Seamless Bespoke reached out to me to tell me about these shoes, I was already following them on Instagram for a long time. I know that they used to carry other brands of shoes like Yanko from Spain, but I had missed the announcement that they were coming out with their online. So when they reached out to me, that was my first time actually hearing about it. But when they told me that they were handmade shoes, I was automatically thinking, okay, they're going to cost around $500. And then they told me, no, the shoes actually retail for $369. I was really blown away, but I also didn't know what to expect. I wanted to get the shoes in my hands so I could really judge them. The shoes arrived about a month ago i can't believe that these shoes only cost 369 man the shoes are made in shanghai they come with flat laces which is always a plus and the beige calf lining now as far as the fit fit is something that's very subjective so just because something doesn't fit me doesn't mean that it's not going to fit you and also the opposite is true so just because something fits me really nicely doesn't mean that's going to be the case for you whenever i'm buying shoes online i'm always skeptical because my feet are not regular i have flat feet Typically when someone has flat feet, they also have a lower instep. In my case, I have flat feet and a high instep, which is not really that normal. With that said, I've been pretty lucky. I'd say about 90% of the shoes that I buy online typically fit me pretty well. But there's something about these shoes here. When I put them on, I could not believe how great they fit me. One thing that you hear often, when people try on their bespoke shoes for the first time, there's an air that comes out the shoe as their foot goes in the shoe because of the tight fit of the bespoke shoe. I've experienced the same thing when I put these shoes on. The top line hugs my foot and it's just a perfect fit. Now, once again, it's not to say that it's going to fit you the same. It might fit you even better or it might not, but this is one of the best fitting shoes that I have. Now, the way that I plan to wear these shoes is with medium gray suits and light gray suits. The color is too light for me to wear with, let's say charcoal or navy. They'll stand out too much if I was to wear them with those type of colors because it will be too much of a contrast and you guys know I'm not a fan of that. But I think that these would look great with medium gray and light gray suits. The best pair for these shoes in my opinion would be in a suit made in a light gray Prince of Wales fabric. So that is something that I'm looking to get made this summer in flannel so that it can be ready for the fall. And I think these shoes would look awesome with that suit. Now a few things to keep in mind. Like I said, the shoes retail for $369. But the shipping only offers one type of shipping, which is expedited shipping, and that's $46. The second thing, the shoes only come in 6 UK to 10 UK, and they only come in one width, which is the regular width. As I was saying, they are looking to expand the offering. So depending on how this goes, they might be offering larger sizes in the future. So according to their website, you should just take your regular size. So whatever you wear, Mirman, Carmina, Enzo Bonafe, should take the same exact size and that's been my experience as well so once again i wear 7 uk in all my shoes and once again this is one of my best fitting shoes so i will include a link in the description so you can check out seamless bespoke one thing that i think would be nice is if they had like a regular shipping option for let's say 25 dollars where the shoes take a bit longer to get to you but you're not paying 46 dollars for them to get here in a couple days second thing obviously they have to work on their sizing capping it at 10 uk is not going to work for a lot of guys like can already see in the comments guys telling me they want to try them but unfortunately they don't have the size the third thing would be for them to offer more last and also more selections but i do understand this is their first foray into shoes so they want to see exactly how these turn out before they start investing in more colors more last more styles and those type of things and the fourth thing since they only have two last i think that it would be a good idea for them to have lasted shoe trees I've owned many Chinese brands. Now they don't have the same quality as let's say Yil Sao, the same quality as let's say Blazing Wonders. You're going to be paying a lot more, you know what I mean? So at $369, this is a really, really good quality shoe. And they're even less expensive than most of the Goodyear Welted brands that I speak about. So the watch strap that I would wear with these will be a medium brown. As you can see, this is a perfect match for these shoes. And this is a medium brown alligator. I'm actually coming out with my own line of watch straps, so be on the lookout for that. It's one of those little things that can make your watch feel brand new again. Speaking of watches, today I'm wearing my Grand Seiko 6145-8000 to be exact. It's on a black alligator strap and today I'm wearing black shoes. If you haven't tried out hand welted shoes because of the price, I think this is a good chance to do so. At $369, it's very hard to beat. And these are really nice shoes, man. So I would highly recommend them if you can find your size. Hit the thumbs up if you like this
this video, subscribe. Everybody gonna think that you're a hater. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.